Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, tomorrow is Agriculture Day, and between now and then, BC farmers and ranchers will take time to meet with ministers, MLAs, and government officials to discuss the obstacles they face and what this government needs to do to help them. This year's BC Ag Day provides an opportunity to understand the difficulties that the agriculture sector in British Columbia has encountered in the past year. It's also a chance to recognize the unwavering determination of farmers and ranchers in communities across the province who have faced the challenges presented by severe weather and its lingering effects. I know I will take time to celebrate the industry's efforts and how they have placed a crucial role in maintaining the strength of our local food security, economies and communities. I hope my counterparts across the aisle will also acknowledge their hard work and hear out some of their major concerns. In the face of adversity, farmers have persevered and continue to grow and sell the highest quality products. It has not been easy for them, but I know they're appreciative of our community by ensuring we continue to buy local products whenever we are able to. While our community has continued to step up for farmers, there remains many unresolved issues requiring immediate attention from our provincial government. In my role as the opposition critic for agriculture and food, I have been shining a spotlight on the growing affordability challenges facing farmers that are ultimately being downloaded, downloaded onto our consumers. Most pressing are the rising costs of the three Fs, Madam Speaker, feed, fuel, and fertilizer. Shortages of feed and fertilizer combined with the higher costs for transportation are posing significant challenges for our agriculture industry. To help alleviate some of this burden, I have, called on, I have called for financial incentives and tax reliefs for farmers such as carbon tax rebates, tax credits for farmers transitioning to electric farm equipment, and the expansion of the food donation tax credit. I believe these are prudent measures that would make life more affordable for farmers in the future and help those currently struggling, struggling to turn a profit. I know that many farmers will say how increasingly unaffordable farming has become here in BC, and unfortunately that's due to the many measures brought in by this government. Farmers like all British Columbians are facing rising costs everywhere they turn, and these pressures are significantly impacting their operations. I have been a farmer for a long time, and I understand the vital work of BC farmers and ranchers, and everyone involved in the food production process. I, can, I also can appreciate that if we do not support the industry and ensure their operations can survive, it will greatly affect our food security. That is why I strongly implore this government to move forward in addressing the key concerns of mine that echo what farmers across the province are experiencing and telling me. Governments must contemplate tax exemptions so farmers can handle the introduction of a great range of added costs such as the employer's health tax and 28 other and new increased taxes in this province in the last six and a half years. Governments must also deliver tax relief to help address the skyrocketing costs of diesel, gas, heating fuel and natural gas. All goods, Madam Speaker, in agriculture move from point A to point B on diesel. Every truck in agriculture runs on diesel, including rail transportation. Governments must provide farmers and ranchers with the right tools so they can continue traditions of multi-generational farms. This includes making it easier for them to build second and third homes that are larger than 970 square feet on the same farm. Madam Speaker, I'd like to remind the House that BC has the worst housing affordability in North America, especially for young people. And this is not just for family members, but also for farm workers, be it domestic or migrant seasonal workers. Government must increase our cattle industry with more abattoirs in British Columbia as well as creating more cut and wrap facilities. Government must revisit and strengthen legislation on radical activists who invade farms and cause safety issues. Finally, there must be better access to water for livestock and irrigation throughout this province. Farmers and ranchers encounter major droughts that threaten their herds and products. It is paramount that we have access to water no matter the month or time of year. Honourable Speaker, these are just a few ways that this government can take action to make both life and farm operations easier and more affordable. Everyone in this House can agree with me about how truly important the agriculture industry is to our province, but as cost pressures continue to soar, the amount of farmers and ranchers in this province will continue to dwindle. Farming is an incredibly volatile and high-risk livelihood, Madam Speaker. There is drought, fires, rainstorms, frost, disease, and viruses that could devastate a herd. All these can take you out in a heartbeat 
if you're a farmer or rancher in this province. That is why we must ensure that we are not only providing farmers and ranchers with the best opportunities for success, but also doing everything we can to lessen their financial burden. Madam Speaker, look at what's happened to our poultry industry with the ever-increasing losses from avian influenza. Madam Speaker, look at the losses to our wine industry with the extreme cold last winter causing massive damage to grapevines. Look at the fires and drought which this past summer have left hundreds of ranchers with shortages of hay and feed, forcing many to sell off a large per portion of their herd this fall and huge financial costs of replacing burnt-off fencing. And look at the gut punch, Madam Speaker, to a farmer when commodity, commodity prices remain static, yet millions of dollars in bank borrowings jump from 1.5% interest rates to 7.5% interest rates. These rising difficulties could have major effects on our province's food security. Farmers and ranchers are resilient, Madam Speaker, but they are not indestructible. They face the same challenges we face and are fighting not just for their livelihood, but for the future of food security in our province. Let us come together this Agriculture Day and remember how important our farmers are and make sure to listen to them today and to hear their concerns. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Member.